Bowman, this is Nomad. We're on the ground in Okoro. What have you got for us? Okoro is the heart of cocaine production in Bolivia. The network there was built by El Yayo and predates Santa Blanca by more than a decade. When El Yayo joined the cartel and became the boss of production, he handed Okoro off to his grandson, who goes by the name El Emisario. The Emissary. He spends most of his time outside the province, rubbing shoulders with politicians in Sucre and greasing the wheels for the cartel. Not really his job, but the guy's something of a charmer, and he figures this is the best way to make his grandfather proud. El Yayo lets it slide so long as Okoro continues to produce. Fact is, the network is so well established that it pretty much runs itself. El Emisario's assistant handles the rest. Get in there, gather intel on Okoro's production sites, and start fucking things up. That'll put pressure on El Emisario to come back to Okoro and get things back on track before Granddad finds out. When that happens, we grab him and use him to get to El Yeo. Getting an upload from Bowman. Looks like she's got some intel on El Emisario. <laughs> You all know El Yayo, highest ranking Bolivian in the Santa Blanca cartel, and their head of cocaine production. But you may not know his grandson, Gonzalo Yana, aka El Emisario, the Emissary. Yayo taught Emisario everything he knows. How to produce the best polvo in all of South America, how to maintain relationships with the local Bolivians, and most importantly, how to serve your Santa Blanca masters. Emisario looks up to Yayo, would do anything to honor him, to make him proud. Which is exactly what makes El Emisario the perfect target. His greatest fear is shaming his grandfather. If we hit his coke operation in Okoro, he'll come running back to fix things. That's when we grab him. With a little luck, he'll give us everything we need to know about dear old Grandpa. Tango marked. He's a little close to civilians. Drone is airborne. Got another Tango. Roger that. Let me get into position. Move it to a better Copy. position. Target Spotted marked. a Sicario leader. He looks kind of skittish. Ideal for spreading a little fear. Got him. Weapons free. Weapons free. Okay, we're still good. See a second target. I got a third target. Good sight line. Copy that. I okay. don't have a shot. Roger. Target acquired. Lost my target. I've got the target. Target lost. Are you afraid? Because you ought to be. Not because I might gut you and send you walking home with your intestines in your hands, but because I'm here to destroy your world. Santa Blanca will fall, will burn to ash, will crumble to dust. Go ahead, tell your compas if they survive. There's no place to run. Ha, aguanten! Aguanten! Don't hurt me! Neta, tranquis! Say goodbye to your reputation, tough guy. Guitarist people are going to be laughing about this for a long time.
clear over here. Nice. Check it out. Got a location on a cocaine factory operating out of a converted slaughterhouse here in Okoro. What are we waiting for? Let's go light that shit up. Just one problem. The factory door requires a key code to open it. So where do we get the code? According to this, El Emisario's assistant has it. We need to track him down. Find the access code to the cocaine factory in Okoro. Once you've got the code, get inside and wreck the place. Heads up, wait. Heads up. Got eyes on the assistant. Watch your shots. We still need him to talk. Ah, fuck! Oh shit! Oh shit! Use me! Don't kill me! Por favor! I have a family! The access code to the cocaine factory. What is it? I've got two boys. Two little ones. Mis chiquitos, Gustavo and Felipe. I've got pictures. You wanna see them? No, I don't wanna see the damn pictures. Just give me the access code and we're done. Pero que es eso? What's the matter? You don't like kids or something? Jesus. You want to go home to Gustavo and Felipe? Just give me the damn number. Tu bueno. Mire, it's 654-375. That's it, I swear. Bowman, you've got the code. I'm sending you a virus to upload into the factory's automation software. It'll screw with the chemical processing in subtle ways that'll spoil the coke, then brick the machines when someone tries to remove it. That'll cost Santa Blanca a lot of product and take the factory out of action for months.
Take it a shot. I called the rebels for reinforcements. Okay, here we go. Once we're inside the factory, we take out control systems and cocaine stocks. Then we get the hell out. Get in, run around, and break shit. Copy that. Helicopter incoming. The drone is up. I got their Jenny over here. Fuck me. This place is huge. The intel said they converted an old slaughterhouse into a cocaine factory. Yeah, but I figured that was typical cartel bullshit. This, this is something else. Makes no difference to me. The bigger they are, the hotter they burn. Know what I'm saying? Okay, we're in. We'll hit the control room first. Copy that. Controls are foobard. That'll shut the factory down for months. Where to next? Let's search the warehouses. We take out any cocaine stocks we find, then we exfil. Copy that. They're on alert. wanting one of these. Roger that. Move it. Roger that. Target marked. Tango down. Doors open. Taking out the control room must have shorted the locks. Stack up and sweep the build. Wait. Out. Get some. There's a stockpile. Let's take it out. Let's get back on mission. Stack up and sweep the building. Take out any cocaine stocks you find. Roger that. Frag out. Frag out. Not well destroyed. Let's go.
eyes on the sniper. Lock shorted. Let's go. Got eyes on the cocaine stockpile. Frag out. Frag out. Frag out. That's it, we're clear. Stockpile destroyed. Let's keep moving. Damn, that was a shitload of polvo we just wrecked. Somebody's gonna be pissed. This'll put El Anisario's nuts in a vice. We'll have to come out of hiding to deal with the fallout, and then he's ours. 